Try to ignore the rolling mountains of Wyoming behind me and focus instead on this blue beauty, the new Rolls-Royce Cullinan. It's the automaker's first ever SUV, and you might be wondering, what's Rolls-Royce doing making an SUV? They make limousines, don't they? Or fastback coupes that you might find in Miami or other luxurious places rather than up a mountain. They actually do have some history making off-road cars, though Lawrence of Arabia took his Rolls-Royce off-road. They used to strap armor to them and massive guns in the, the war and to use them as makeshift tanks. But this is not just a jacked up Phantom, this is a car with legitimate off-road ability, as we're going to show you. It's built on Rolls-Royce's architecture of luxury, the automaker's exclusive platform used first on the new Phantom 8. Because of the way Rolls-Royce designed it, however, that architecture is incredibly flexible. It can be adjusted in just about every dimension, allowing for a more upright body and shorter overhangs on the Cullinan. At the front you get the traditional Rolls-Royce grille, flanked by LED headlamps that have been sunk back into the face of the car as though it's sporting expensive protective eyewear. Behind that grille is a 6.75 litre twin turbocharged V12 engine. It delivers 563 horsepower and 627 pound-foot of torque via an 8-speed automatic transmission to permanent all-wheel drive. It's not a small car, as you can see, it's over 17 feet long and it'll rise up 40 millimeters when you put it into off-road mode. But because of the all-wheel drive and the all-wheel steering, it can counter-turn the rear wheels to the front wheels as you go around tight corners and that makes it feel like a car with a much shorter wheelbase. The engineers have thought through the details too, there's a perfect 50-50 front to rear weight balance. And while you can put it into expert mode and change all the settings yourself and lock the transmission to front and rear 50-50 power split, you can also just leave it to itself as a single off-road button and the car will basically figure everything out itself. The tyres play a big part too. They've been specially developed to absorb smaller imperfections in the road, stopping them before they even reach the chassis. They're filled with sealant to help prevent punctures too, and then with foam to reduce noise. Now where we are now may not look particularly treacherous, but where we've just been to get to here, actually it was, and there's been a, a real variety of different road terrains. We've had some snow, we've had uh, some mud, we've had lots of kind of dry grit, which uh, could normally let you swing from side to side. And you have to remember that whilst these are big tires, these are still on summer rubber. I was really surprised actually at just how well the Cullinan handled it. I was going at speeds where you, you probably wouldn't imagine going in any off-road vehicle, never mind one with uh, the spirit of ecstasy on the front. The Cullinan couldn't just be accomplished off-road, of course. Rolls-Royce may have made an SUV, but at upwards of $325,000 it needed to be just as refined on the road as it is capable in the mud. Air suspension plays a big role there, helping keep the Cullinan both supple and level. Rolls-Royce calls it a magic carpet ride, but it's not leaving anything to chance. A stereo camera array at the top of the windshield keeps an eye on the road ahead, plotting out any potholes, bumps or general imperfections, and preemptively adjusting the suspension and damping accordingly. The result is an astonishing ride, whether you're on the road or off. Then, the engineers integrated their special GPS-linked transmission, which looks to the route ahead and figures out what gear makes most sense. No more untimely upshifts as you're circling a roundabout. It's fast too. 0-60 miles per hour comes in 5 seconds and onto an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. All the time, you're cosseted in the sort of luxury that most high-end SUVs can only dream of. A full 12 hides go into wrapping the Cullinan's interior with leather. The seats massage you while your feet nestle into lambswool floor mats. The audio system sounds frankly out of this world, and all the better for the fact that Rolls-Royce's insulation makes sure only the burrest murmur of outside noise makes it into the cabin. As standard, Cullinan comes with a rear bench seat that sits three. Optionally, you can have two individual seats instead, making sure those in the back are just as comfortable as those in the front. Finally, there's the viewing gallery. This is tailgating like you've never seen it. Two leather upholstered chairs that fold out of the trunk and provide the perfect perch for watching sport or having a picnic. And now just because the car is muddy, that doesn't mean that you have to be. Rolls-Royce has designed it so that the sills here, as you can see, even though the outside of the car has been made pretty dirty by our trip here, these are all clean because the side panels of the car come down and cover it. And that means that if I was wearing a beautiful ball gown, for instance, that wouldn't get caught up and I wouldn't get all muddy and, and messy. And there's an awful lot of space back here, huge doorway opening for me to get into it. And at the end of the day, you don't even have to close the door yourself. That's all motorized. Incongruous it may be, but Cullen does everything you'd expect of a Rolls-Royce set loose to conquer the wild. It took the automaker five years to develop, and you can see why. Not only is it capable of climbing a mountain, it'll do so without you breaking a sweat. It's strange. When you drive a Rolls-Royce Phantom, or a Dawn, or a Ghost, the idea of taking it somewhere where there's even the risk of getting it dusty is horrifying. 
The Cullinan's go-getter attitude and extreme capabilities, though, are crying out for you to push further, get muddier, see just how capable this outrageous SUV is. Anything else, after all, would just be a terrible waste.